Welcome back, DJ Peeps. We are playing Star Trek. I'm Reality's Mark, and we are. If I remember what we're doing, we've got to find the atmospheric generator and distribute the antidote. So I'm going to carry Am this going? one. There's chance there's Starfleet crew around if here. If anyone is there, know. leave! Leave now! Please, make it a clean Ooh. shot! I want to die! I don't want. Oh. There we go. Cool. Can I? I can't remember what the button was. Is that one? No, not that one. No, it is that one. Research data. No, research data. There we go. No, it's not that one. Okay, never mind. I was. I just remember. The sooner you two can get that vaccine airborne, the better. Upgrades done. Yes, Mr. Bones. We're on it. Shibidi doo. Spock, you're in the way. We're going up or down? We're going up. Up we go. Come on, Mr. Spock. Do not get yourself glitched on the ladder again. I'd be really disappointed if that happens. Jim, if you could get that vaccine in the airstream, I'd appreciate it. Things are getting a little crazy down here. Yes, Bones, working on it. Yeah, but you're going to put landmines all around my ship. Landmines, bro. Why would you do that on the, on the, on the inside of a sealed space tube? They are trying to access the systems. Not for long. Here comes another. What were they doing here, Mr. Spock? Spock, I need your help. I can't crack this system alone. There you go, Mr. Spock. We got it. Good work, Spock. I couldn't have done that on my own. Dr. McCoy. The vaccine has been inserted into the ship's environmental systems. Bones, are they okay? The toxins are disappearing from their bloodstreams. They'll have a massive headache when they wake up, but all their life signs are returning to normal. Captain, whatever you're doing to the air, it seems to be taking its toll on the Gorn. Have they been incapacitated, Mr. Scott? Not really, sir, but they definitely don't like it. We're not out of the woods yet. They're breaching. We're on our way, Bones. Gonna give the Vulcan pulse cannon a go. Something different? Where do we go from here? Hurry up, Jim. There's more on the way. Yep. Give it up. Alright, I'm I'm a little busy. I oh, returned to the med bay. I thought we had to continue on somewhere else. Uh, tally ho! Could really use you two back in med bay. Things are getting hectic yeah, here. Fine. Coming. Coming. Hurry! I'm not sure how long my boys can hold them off. Oh, 
over here. Here, Bones. Over where, Bones? God, man, where are you? There you are. We're here. Spark. Of course you're stuck. Guys, move. Can I stun you? No, I can't. Come on, Mr. Spock. Get your way through there. Come on, you can do it. Just give him a Vulcan neck pinch. Come on. Don't make me restart the section over again, Mr. Spock. Fine, we'll restart the checkpoint. Ticking, Commander. Good. Over Excellent. here. You got through there. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Spock. Whoa, this is getting too close for comfort. Watch those doors. I think we pissed them off. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Should have watched out for that. That appears to be the last of them. Good. Now let's end this. Mr. Sully, you ready to go? Ready, sir. 
It's waiting on your command. Do it. Kaboom. I'll stay here and look after the injured. You do what you need to do. Yep, I will. Spock! Don't worry about that. He wants you to give him control of the ship. Do not harm her. Spock, it could be a trap. If Lieutenant Uhura is... Don't worry, Spock. We'll get her back. Let's go! Come on, Mr. Spock. Dude, get out of the doorway. Mr. Spock needs to get through. This way. <clears throat> oh, good. A good store. That's good. Mr. Spock, stop trying to run through the door while the turbo lift goes. Why do you control the ship? You've got your own ship. You want control? I'll give you control. Captain, that is inadvisable. Don't worry, I got this. Personnel report to stations. How much longer before the rip closes, Mr. Chekhov? An hour, maybe less. It's hard to know for sure, Commander. Do you really think going to that ship is the best option? You've seen what those things are capable of. The Gorn cannot be allowed to control the Helios device. Securing it and Tamar are the only way to assure the safety of the Federation. Then promise me you'll be careful. I will do my best. No time for long goodbyes. Don't you worry, sir. The crew and I will hold off those bloody lizard ships until you come back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aha. It's Scooty McPuff. Three, two, one. Boom! We're out of here. Sulu, we're gonna need a targeted torpedo strike. Blow us a hole and get us inside that thing. Aye, sir. We'll be ready. Captain, we've isolated be a weak spot. Firing torpedoes in five, four, three, two, one. Fire! Torpedo strike successful. You see your entry Excellent. point. Mr. Sulu, we have visual confirmation. Good luck. It's a gigantic hole in the side of the ship. Of course, we see it. He's on the mothership. Where are we? The, the ship there. appears to have a double hull. Mr. Sulu's torpedo strike may have only punctured the outer layer. We need to find another way in. The Gorn will use all available resources to search for intruders. It would be highly advantageous if we could avoid detection. I feel like he's going to wake up.
finished reloading that already. Thank you. Good shooting, Mr. Spock. There's got to be a way in somewhere. Captain, that airlock may be the answer to boarding this vessel. I think we can force this one open. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> force open an airlock. That sounds like a safe idea. See, it's not going to... Oh, it's closed. I was going to say, it's not so behind it. But it did. Captain, scans indicate that in order to proceed, you will need to destroy the ship's central column. Thank you, Lieutenant. Sir, I know you've got your hands full, and I hate to bug you with our little problems, but can you do something about their weapon systems first? We're taking heavy damage here. We can't take too many more hits. <clears throat> Understood. Just try to hang in there a little longer. Downstairs. Or not. No, Mr. Spock, we're not needed down here. appears. See another one. Oh, that's not one. That's two. And good. A most effective barrage, sir. You continue to surprise me, Captain. What do you think it's used for? They appear to hold some sort of liquid. They may be stasis chambers. I didn't see what they were, so I don't know what they're talking about. Spock, you better kill whatever that is so it doesn't shoot me while I I'm see more the of terminal.
Open this box. Let's go. Not a big fan of this Vulcan cannon either. We are making progress, Captain. Not enough, I reckon. See just how other. strong their security is. Bam, we're in. Don't fuck it up, Spock. We're in. Thanks for the help. Anyway guys, that's it for this episode. If you like this episode, smash that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Yali's Mark. And thank you as always for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.